Hello and welcome to the Matrix video tutorial series. Today we will be talking about reverse prospecting. In today's video we're going to talk about what is reverse prospecting, how to access the reverse prospecting reports for your listings, how to read the reverse prospecting report and what the numbers mean, and how to send reverse prospecting messages to other members. First, what is reverse prospecting? Reverse prospecting is a report on your active listings that gives details of which members are sending out your listing in auto emails, but not showing the client information who are receiving those auto emails. If the listing has been marked as a possibility or a favor by the client receiving the auto email, now these reports are optional and can be opted out of by the members. To access the reverse prospecting reports for your listings, first you're going to hover over the My Matrix menu and then click on the My Listings option. We're then going to change the Show drop down box to My On Market Residential Listings. From here, we can select the listing that we want to reverse prospect and click the Reverse Prospecting button. Now we'll talk a little bit about the reverse prospecting results screen and the information that's presented to us. First, we have the agent column, which shows the names of the members that have sent this listing out in an auto email. We then have the reference number column. This column shows the reference number of the client that received this auto email. The agent can reference this number so that they can tell which client was sent this listing. The count is a number of unique listings that have been sent out for the life of this auto email. Date since is when this listing was sent out to the client that is receiving that auto email. The folder icon is whether the client has marked this listing as either a favorite or a possibility. A heart is a favorite and a possibility is a light bulb. The email address column will show the email address of the member that sent out this listing. And finally, the phone column is the phone number registered for that member. To send a reverse prospecting message to a member, click on their name in the agent column, and this will take you to the reverse prospecting message screen. On this screen, you can fill out a message to the member and then click send to send an email to their registered email address. They will also receive a notification in Matrix. That concludes this video in the Matrix video tutorial series. And now for a quick lesson recap. First, we learned how to access the reverse prospecting report for our listings. We start by going to the My Matrix My Listings menu option. We then select My On Market Listings or My On Market Residential Listings from the Show drop-down box. We select the property that we wish to get a reverse prospecting report for, and then we click the Reverse Prospecting button. We then learned about the report and what details it contains. It contains the name and contact information of the members that have sent out the auto email, the count column which shows us how many unique listings were sent out for the life of that auto email, as well as the folder column which gives us if the listing was either marked as a favorite with a heart or a possibility with a light bulb. Then we learned how to send a reverse prospecting message to a member. We click on the member's name on the reverse prospecting report enter in a message to send them, and then click the send button to deliver an email message to their registered email address. Thank you for watching this video in the video tutorial series. If you have any questions about Matrix or any of its features, please contact your friendly local board staff.